Sports every day. A dispute over doggy do has a Largo man in some serious trouble. Pinellas deputies are accusing him of aiming a gun with a laser sight at a group of construction workers, threatening to shoot them in the head. It all began yesterday morning as his wife took their dog for a walk, and the boxer did what dogs do. Peter Bernard is on the night beat for us in Pinellas County. Peter, how in the world did this escalate from a dog doing its business to a man going to jail? Unbelievable, isn't it, Jen? Uh, he's charged with four counts of aggravated assault. Essentially, what went on here is those construction workers didn't like the fact that his wife didn't pick up after her dog. And then things got really heated. Hey, 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 hey. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Just don't jump. Part of Dorothy <laughs> Belmonte's routine includes taking three year old Bruno for walks and bathroom breaks in the woods near her Lakeside Estates house. Everybody walks their dogs up there, and he did a little poop. Oops. <laughs> by a tree. Right. In the bushes. Right. And I didn't pick it up. You know, nobody mm -hmm. does up there. A group of men working for traffic control devices noticed and took issue. And one of them hollered at me and said, pick that poop up. Well, it was kind of rude. The situation spiraled out of control. One of the workers took a picture of the poop while yelling at Dorothy. She is violating the law. And then he said, where are your poop bags anyway? And I said, I keep them right here. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. I told him, I said, well, in the neighborhood, I always pick up. Yeah. At home, Dorothy told her 79-year-old husband, Nicholas, what happened. Despite her pleas, he drove back to the scene. With a laser-sighted 32-millimeter handgun, deputies say he aimed at the workers' heads. Apparently, uh, he showed him his gun, which is not a nice mm -hmm. thing to do. Yeah. But he got worked up. He's old. He's sick. Mm -hmm. Pointing that gun got Nicholas Busted. He's a good man. He stays at home, tends his own business most of the time. He's on oxygen. A day later, Dorothy is sorry about what happened. They were messing with me. Mm -hmm. That's all. Yeah. And I didn't realize it. Messing with her. Dor Dorothy tells me before her husband pulled the gun, she asked the worker's supervisors for an apology and did not get it. She says that the worker claims that she was lying, and she admits her husband got a little overexcited. Jen? Is he in jail tonight? Uh, he was in jail, but he bonded out yesterday, uh, early evening, $20,000 bond. And by the way, his wife tells me he has a concealed weapons permit. But some serious charges here. And it wasn't so concealed yesterday. Peter Bernard, on the night beat for us tonight. Thank you.